hey, so if Tom or Drew, if you guys are watching this, I just want you to know that you can't force a one blade razor on my face anymore. What is up, everybody? Welcome to another episode of MHK All Day Behind the Scenes. This week, we have a lot of stories to cover, so let's get right to it. The first story we'll be covering this week is about Sporting KC's wallpaper. They sent out a tweet, and if you responded to it, then you got your own custom wallpaper. The next one is K-State Men's Basketball Signing Day. That was just this Wednesday, April 15th. We actually got two awesome recruits, so I'm excited to tell you about that. And next up is Cat Caves. K-State Sports sent out a tweet asking people to send in their cat caves or their watch party areas and stuff like that. So what I did was go and get some of those tweets and I want to show them to you. And then after that, I talked about some K-State football. We had a virtual press conference with a few coaches and I was able to get some answers for the fans out there who wanted to hear about how the players are keeping up with their workouts and what they're doing with their coaches and stuff like that. So that's also exciting. As you saw in the opening, I already have all the screenshots and the videos and stuff and I put them together. What we're doing this week is, is I'm going to pre-record all the stories and then I have voiceover of that. But this week I am going to be live on Zoom. Usually it's a pre-recorded sports segment, but this week my producer and my teacher wanted me to go live just so we don't have five minutes of sitting around and watching just a pre-recorded thing. Speaking of my teacher, Dr. Tom Halak, he reached out to me via email and told me a story. And what it basically came down to was is that it was in my best interest to shave off my beard. Now, there was no offense taken to him or Drew, but within this news industry, a clean shave is the best. I replied back to him saying that, no worries, Tom. I realized it is starting to get a little bad and I planned on shaving already, just to surprise you. Thanks for ruining the surprise. As I said, I already got the script done, I got the files, I got the interview, I got the screenshots, and I got the sequences done. Now all that's left is to do the voiceover. Let's go. Why do I have three devices to record my voice with? For one, I'm in a room that is echoing like crazy. Two, it's raining outside. So if there's any sort of background noise, it's just gonna be like, mm, and it's gonna sound terrible. I'm hoping one of these will work fine enough because I want to get this done. You're also probably asking, Daisy, where's the shirt and tie and all the B-roll and stuff? Well, this is a pre-recorded VO and SOT. So basically, all I have to do is read this and have the video over me. Anchoring will come live tomorrow, so I don't have to look good, and and I just want to be comfortable. I'm also in shorts, so I tried at least to put on this shirt. I did my hair, I shaved. I don't know what more do you want from me. So that being said, <clears throat> let's just get into it. Time lapse or something. Don't watch me, I'm gonna mess up, okay? <sighs> Sporting K- ah! I'm gonna get this right. You also might be asking, why am I standing up and not just in my room, just like talking over the mic? That's because you stand up, you let your lungs breathe, you get your diaphragm going or something like that. I'm no doctor. And your voice just sounds more and your voice just you know goes out more and it sounds better even though right now it's not I need water I'm also just saying you should be jealous of these cups got them as a Christmas gift 
It's pretty cool. Looks like Sprite, but it's just water. Really cold water. All right, here we go. Mic test, one, two. To start us off, we go... See, I told you I'd mess up. You know, here's the other good part. If I hit a spot and I mess up, I can just edit it. Like when I'm anchoring, I can't have jump cuts. So I have to have it perfect right away. Now, I can just say a line, wait five minutes, take another drink of water, refill the water, uh, go get a bite to eat, come back, do the next sentence, repeat. That's what's cool about voiceovers. I'm not gonna do that though, because it's already 9.20. Look at that, see? My producer Sarah is now asking me how it's going. You guys are holding me back. I gotta get to this, even though it's mostly done. Rudy found himself ranked 54th on the 2020 JucoRecruiting.com. We're doing good, here we go. So many athletes, coaches, and fans. Woo, I'm done. It only took me 10 minutes, but I'm done. Here we go, let's get to editing. Well, the editing is done and it feels great. This week was a little different. It's definitely a game changer for you to go from anchoring out in my living room and getting all edited and then done. But now it's I anchor live and then go to the three stories about Kansas City men's basketball and cat caves. It comes back to me live it then goes to football. So it was just a little different not being able to have video over me anchoring and it's a fun experience if I'm being honest. Like I'm learning different things and pushing myself to that greater limit. That was deep. I should not have said that. Anyway, editing is done tonight. I'm going to try to get some of the video from the day edited and maybe just maybe, get some sleep. Just maybe, get some sleep. Just maybe, get some sleep. But if we're being honest, I probably won't. I will be sure to take video tomorrow of the, the live show. Hopefully, I say hopefully a lot because like, you have to be hopeful with all this. I'm hopeful that my edits turn out well. I'm hopeful that my video turns out well. I'm hopeful that the broadcast goes smoothly. Hope is a, a very strong and dangerous word. That was pretty deep, too. I'm gonna start writing poems. Anyway, I know that so far this behind the scenes has been pretty broad. I got started a little late on all of it and I was just trying to catch up. And on top of that, I did last week's Beyond the Scene and you know, it was just different. So I had to change a lot up and change how I did things. I didn't know what exactly I was gonna record when I don't know what I'm exactly doing. It was all new things for me going out through today too. Like, I didn't have to put on a tie two days in a row. That's pretty sweet. Anyway, I'll see you in the morning. Mic check, one, two. Mic check, one, two. I am learning that this Zoom link is not working. I'm also learning that I'm almost out of coffee. I don't know if I'll have time to wait more. Coffee is good. It's really good. 
live on Zoom with us today to update us on what's happening in the sports world. Daisy? Thanks, Molly. This week, Sporting KC had a wallpaper Wednesday. Kansas State men's basketball earned two new recruits, and K-State fans showed off where they watched the Wildcats. I'm blessed to have met so many athletes, coaches, and fans. Without surprise, K-State football had to learn a lot of different skills during this time. Quarterback coach Colin Klein says a virtual relationship isn't as good as shaking a recruit's hand. As far as getting out in the field goes, Klein says we have to be patient. I'm sure there are thousands of fans who are ready to make it one heck of a family reunion. That's all we have this week in sports. Check us out next Friday for your sports news and fitness tips. Monica, whew, that was intense, but we got it done. What happens there is, is that one of our anchors will introduce a story and then Nick will play that story and stream it. And what the call is for is Kaylee will tell us our times and when we have 10 seconds left in the story, we will unmute our mic and then we'll speak our parts. How'd you feel about a little bit different format on sports, Sarah? I liked it live. Did you like it live, Daisy? Right before all this started, I was like, all I have to do is talk, like say a few paragraphs. That's it, that's all I have to do. And then it was my turn and I was like, hmm, I can't do this. Let's try to do that more, I liked it. I really liked it too. I thought, um, it, was good. I thought it was great. Are there any comments with sports? I prefer we go with the live. Mm -hmm. You just like seeing my live face, don't you? I, I do, Daisy. Yeah, it makes my day. <laughs> Did you lose your bet with shaving? No. It, Tom and I had a discussion. <laughs> it's fine. Good. That's funny. Well, that was our show. Had a lot of stressful moments, had a lot of comments, but when in the history of K-State have we had to do broadcasts through Zoom? It's something that nobody is an expert in, at least that I can think of. I'm sure there's some dude out there that's an expert, which isn't fair. As far as our class goes, we're doing awesome. Like, yeah, it's stressful, but we're getting our stories and we're getting our shows done. I think that's awesome. That's a pat on the back to everybody who picks up a story and makes it their own creative way. Allen's, sure, there was a little bit of wind, but he still had an awesome stand-up. Bailey's, she had awesome coloring from what she was wearing to the background and her creative shots, what ingredients she used, and then how she used them. And on top of that, we have Stephanie's live shot, and that's just her showing how to make a, a cheese ball. I don't know how to do that, but now I do, because she picked up the story and showed how to do it. Aside from all the comments about stress and what went wrong and stuff, I don't think there's enough time being talked about what we're doing well. We'll get it figured out. We have a month. We just gotta put all of our hard work into it and soon enough, we'll be stress-free. So, when I got done editing, I noticed I didn't give a proper goodbye. If you want to check out this week's stories, you can go to Channel 8 News Online on YouTube. And if you haven't yet, go check out last week's MHK All Day behind the scenes for more about our scripting and finding footage. Thanks for watching, and as always, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay creative. Peace!